I want to speak to just the, the the strength that you that you possess because you had all of that, but then you lost it. So how do you keep yourself in that mentality when you lose all of that and have to start from bottom again? Like, how do you get to the point where you don't quit and say fuck it and go back to what you know and just you know what I mean all of the things that go into having to push past you know what people look at as failure. How did you do that? Man, you want to know what's so crazy? Everything I lost, I wanted to lose. I ain't want that shit. I ain't want it that way. Cause I do know one thing, like with this street shit, it ain't never no winners. Ain't, a nigga ain't gonna never win. And it ain't no end game with that shit. You know what I'm saying? That shit go either two ways and we all know which way that go. And I ain't want that shit. True story. I was driving home from my car wash one day and it was just a wild day, bro. Like a lot of weird ass energy, just a bunch of stupid shit just kept happening. You know what I mean? I pulled up on the side, of, pulled over on the side of the road. But lie, bro, it's a true story. And I just talking to God, like, you know, I know I prayed for this, and I know I asked for this, and when, I'm, when I say this, I meant money. You know what I mean? I'm like, I know I prayed for it, I asked for it, and I wanted it, but this not the way I want it. I don't want it this way. I'm not happy. It don't feel right. I got indicted a few weeks later and lost everything I had, and I was, I was extremely happy. And I was happy because I knew I had a chance to start from zero, and I knew God answered my prayer. Because I wouldn't have, I, I lost shit way too fast. It was like a domino effect. I lost hundreds of thousands of dollars. I lost businesses, car, full, full on running businesses that was doing well at the time. Cars, all type of shit. I knew God answered my prayer and it made me happy because I knew that was just the first part of my prayer because I asked for it to have it the right way. And when I lost all that shit, that was the happiest day of my life, in real life, you know what I'm saying? So I knew it was time to get it the right way and do that shit the right, do it the way I want to do it. Do it in a way that's gonna make me happy. Do it in a way that's gonna make me appreciate it because I ain't appreciate that money. I ain't care for it. It was too much shit that came with it. You know what I mean? And it wasn't even about the pressure. It was just me being a nigga that know how to think, that know like, man, I sink this shit a million times. I'm, I know where I'm headed. I know where I'm about, I know where I'm headed. What was your first step to doing it right? Clean slate. Like, so you say you starting over from scratch. What was your first step? First I mean, step. I, first, I went to the feds. I had to go to jail. When okay. I, when I'm I got, saying when you had you going through the process. You know I left it. Once I lost that shit, it was over. Yeah. That was my first step. Was reneging from going back. Okay. That's the first step. Is knowing when to quit. That's a step in itself. That to be honest with you, that's the that's the strongest part. That's that's where the strength come in. Knowing when to quit. That shit is hard. That was my first step. I knew when it was time, it was done, it was over with. You heard when I lost all that shit, it was over. Let me fight this case, do what I gotta do. I got a daughter, I got a son on the way. Fuck this shit, I'm gonna go sit down, do my time. Nigga, my wife and my kids was living in the middle of the hood with her grandparents. I ain't never told nobody this story. Only people know this is my immediate family, my circle. I'm ice or Vezo at the time, man. I'm the same nigga just had restaurants, car washes, Five, six cars on rims, cribs, all this shit. I'm me at this point, popping like a well-known nigga. And I was fucked up, bro, with a name, got songs, all this shit. And, uh, you know, wife and kids in the middle of the hood, bro. You know what I mean? Like, nigga had to uh, sit down, got back out, bro, and I still renewed. Got a deal, that shit ain't do nothing for me as far as financially. It did a lot for me because I gained a lot of knowledge and I had got a record deal by some good people. You know what I mean? But shit, nigga just stuck to that shit. I, bro, when I tell you I believe in myself, I really believe in myself. I didn't even have, I don't, I don't, I didn't know the plan. I just knew where I was going to be and I knew where I wanted to go. And that shit came to fruition. You know what I'm saying? Now I got everything I ever lost times 10. And I'm going to hold on to this shit because now I know how to have it. You know what I mean? I know how to have something. I know, I know how to be a nigga with money, bro. I know, how to, I know how to handle this shit. I know how to stay humble. I know how to respect other people. I know how not to crash out, how not to think too much of myself and jump on that high horse. You know what I'm saying? Not let that money make me tweak out. I know how to have all this shit. You know what I mean? So go back to this uh, question. My first, my first step was to renege and not go back.